everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Herc Grayson. If you're new, welcome. And today, I'm only going to be using Prismacolor products. I'm also going to be doing an in-depth review. So, let's get started. Okay, so here, I guess, is all of the Prismacolor array of stuff. So, here are the color pencils. I have used... These color, I've used all of these products, but I want to create a video where I have an in-depth, non-biased review of just the whole Prismacolor brand, I guess, of these things. Because these are some of their main items, so I just wanted to put this out there if you're looking for some art supplies to use. So let's get started with the review of it. So we're going to use the sketchbook right here. Okay. And this is not sponsored, so I don't have to say anything about these things. It's good if they're not good, which I personally again have used them and i have my opinions on them so this is just a in-depth review of them so here are the markers here's the barrel um they have these at least are double-sided these are the brush on one end and bullet on the other They have the name and number on it. They have the color and the number on both ends. I don't know if you can see that. They'll focus. And it has this wavy line to indicate the brush and this fine line to indicate the bullet. And then it says Prismacolor Premiere on it. So I definitely really love these this barrel and the thickness of it is honestly really nice especially to use so that's a plus also because I know um, there are really thick barrels for some markers especially alcohol markers which I'm pretty sure these are alcohol markers and so it's really helpful that it is easy to use. The length of it is good, and around right here, there it says Prismacolor. I don't know if you can see those wor that word. Let's see, Prismacolor, right here, on both ends. So it's a really detailed barrel, which is really good keep on saying barrel so many times and it has this lift right here which I don't know what that's for but it doesn't bother me so let's do some swatches this is true blue the brush is very flexible the color is very vibrant and then this is the bullet. You can press hard and get a thick line and a kind of fine line. Also, what for the I've noticed for the bullet, once you put it down, it expands. The ink expands, and it might just be this paper, but it does do that and I don't know if that would be an issue personally it's not an issue because I mostly use the brush end but so there are some of the swatches as you can see no streaks very nice very nice also if you get this count I guess um this amount it does come in a case, which I will do a review on the case. So this case is very nice. I don't know what material it's made of, but it's very... I don't know if you can hear that. 
It's that material and it has Prismacolor Premier on it. And it has a zipper, a handle right here, and stuff to clip on it. And then a handle right here, which is really nice. And it zips. Amazing. Next are the Coral Race pencils. We're going to try this on this paper and then black paper. If we can get if we can find it. <laughs> I have sharpened them scarlet red for the cola rice. Very creamy. That's dark. Let's do a gradient. There's the gradient. You can get a very nice gradient. They're very creamy. And now we can do an erasing thing. Let's do really dark and really light. For the darker, I must erase all of it. And for the lighter, it erased all of it. Now I'm going to do a review of the barrel. So it is, it says Prismacolor right there, Cola Erase right there, the number for the color, and then the name for the color, which this one's Scarlet Red. And that is all for the barrel. It has a standard eraser barrel, I guess, um, that you, it looks like the barrels that you get on the regular pencils, except the little, like the eraser's a little lighter in color, and then this is the point, it sharpens very well, which is really good. Now for these pencils, which these I've used and they're so creamy. They're like the creamiest pencils ever. So we're gonna try a metallic and then a regular standard color. Let's do olive green. I mean, it's not called olive green. It's called lime peel. Lime peel. So here are the pencil. Okay. Let's do Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. These are very creamy. And these do not erase. There's the gradient right there for the lime peel. And the light shade and the dark shade. I noticed that if you press really hard, it does look metallic, but if you do lightly, it doesn't look that much metallic. And there we have it. So we're gonna be drawing the orange bird. So let's get started. So I started using the orange color race and then I moved on to pencils and the markers and you'll see that later. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and turn on post notifications so you guys know which more videos I post every day, every other day. And here is the finished product. I'll be posting the results on my Instagram, Grayson underscore art. Here it is. I love how it turned out. I used all of the supplies. Okay. I used all of it. And my full review is I love it. And the end. Period. I love it. I definitely recommend Prismacolor. They're a really, really good brand. I'll give it a 9.7 out of 10. That's a really good score. 
and I'm coming out with a comic book if you didn't know. I'm super excited. If you want to see more information, sneak peeks, behind the scenes drawings, and more, make sure to go to the Instagram, victor.comics. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.